Yo, what's up guys? So here I'm gonna show you guys the fix of the error, something something login. You guys always keep asking me about how to fix this and I'm gonna show you guys because I think like six or seven people have contacted me on Instagram and I help them on Discord and they all have the same problem and it all has the same fix. It's not that hard, but I'm gonna show you and make sure to watch the whole video. And I normally don't ask people to subscribe in the beginning, but I'm like, bro, y'all keep watching my videos and y'all don't subscribe, bro. And I'm giving y'all a way to fix this thing, man. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys. This is my YouTube, yeah? The same link that I showed you guys. Uh, you just click the link. Like, no, 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 actually, before, okay. Before you click the link, what I tell, like, I'm gonna show you guys what I actually tell people to do and how it actually fixes it. Because the problem is when they install the app, you feel me? The problem is when they install it. So you actually have to uninstall the app first because I noticed that all of them, when they install it, they, there's like a problem and they don't think the problem is important or something. There's like an error that pops up, but I'm gonna show you guys. The first thing you do, you have to uninstall the SCP toolkit first before you can do anything else. So I'm gonna uninstall mine, SCP toolkit, uninstall. Okay, so now it finished uninstalling, right? Then what I tell them to do is go to this link, the same link that I show you guys in the video. And just wait. Mm -mm -mm. And you press download. Yeah? Yeah, download anyway. Not SCP toolkit, just press download anyway. And it should pop up here. It takes like a few seconds. So it's done. So it's done. So this is where the problem is. This is where the problem actually starts and most people don't notice it. But for me, it's gonna work differently. I'm just gonna tell you how it's, it might look on your screen because for me, it works already. Like I don't, it, I, I don't get that error. So, but anyway, look, look. Listen carefully. Listen. Listen, Linda, listen. Look, this is the first part, right? Works properly. You can change the location if you want. I'm not going to. Press next. This part also, it work, works normally for people. Just press install. There's a next part that comes up. Is it not showing for me? It's not showing for me. <laughs> It doesn't show for me. I don't know. Mine just works perfectly. But for you guys, uh, I think I have it on Discord. Wait, hold on, hold on. I have it on Discord, like pictures of me helping someone else. So you know what I'm going to do? Just to help you guys. I have my phone out right now. Let me connect to Discord. I thought it was going to show me the same kind of steps it shows you all, but no, I helped someone on Discord. And... Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys basically the screenshot, you know, cause he, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I'm gonna put it on the screen. So I hurt, but this is like one of the screenshots he gets when he tries to like open the SCP toolkit after he's finished downloading it, you know, after he saw the error and he downloaded it. Then the guy sent me pictures and videos. Is this the video? No, this is where he downloaded it again. Okay, yeah, then I was trying to help him step by step, you feel me? Then he pressed next. And next, then this is what it gave him. It gave him the Visual C++ and Visual C++. Uh, for some people, all of them might say install, like on the right hand side, you see it says to download and to install. For other people, it might say all download or all install. But just do that first, then it's gonna give you the error, then don't press finish, just like go back to this page. Then when you go back to this page, the first yeah, like it gives him this error, this error right here that says blah, 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 blah. Then I told him to go back to the page and I highlighted this for him, like the first two, Visual C+, Visual C+, the two that says download. You have to uncheck those two. Then when you uncheck those two, it's gonna manually, I'm looking at myself, it's gonna manually install by itself, you feel me? Then this is a picture of his one installing, like it installs the first one, you press agree, then install. 
then it asks you to install another one then you press agree and install then for him it showed repair modify or remove i just told him to repair it maybe something was up with his one but i don't think it should show you this it, it only showed this part for him but yeah then for him it showed another autumn okay but i don't think it's gonna show this one for you but if it does after that step and shows like something like some files need to be updated just press automatically hmm? automatically close application and attempt to restart the setup just press that then press ok then from here everything should work perfectly and for me it doesn't do that i don't know i don't know what's up with you as a species maybe you guys a species is not that updated maybe like don't try and update it manually because someone else on instagram someone else on instagram uh added me but he tried to update it manually and it wasn't it was like he couldn't do it manually so this way is better because when you uncheck the first two downloads and it manually downloads it by itself it downloads it like it downloads the proper one the uh visual c plus plus 80 uh, 64 and 86 it downloads those two that's the two it needs then for some people because they couldn't even download it first of all they don't even know the step so the step that you do here is your strike pack has to be plugged in first if it's plugged out it won't work you have to plug it in and plug it in before uh plug it in before you open the scp toolkit so you see i unplugged it and i plugged it back in so if i do it now like look it's not even it's, it's not it's not gonna work so uh my strike pack is plugged in and the app is closed yeah so i'm gonna open up the app again and i uncheck install bluetooth driver i mean and install dualshock 3 because we're not using the dualshock 3 we're using a ps4 you know what I mean? a dualshock dual dualshock 4 anyway you pick the wireless and wireless but even the guy on instagram he had one wireless and i told him that's okay some people have one some people have two but if you have three <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to say that but yeah that's all you need to do you press wireless one wireless two you don't press this some people tell you to press force download when i was watching videos on youtube when i started using strike pack some people will say press the force download don't do that why don't do that anyway don't do that anyway then you just press install here and for some people that wonder if you restart your laptop or your pc with this plug in you don't have to do the step over again if it's plugged in like because when you restart your laptop it's gonna restart with it working it's gonna restart with the light blue but if you restart your laptop or pc or you shut down and you plug it out when you put it back in again you're gonna have to do the same step again for it to work then when you go in the game some guy was talking about that it shows like xbox yes it's gonna show like xbox even if it is a ps4 controller why it does that why he does why it i said he why it does that i don't know but at least the strike pack is working and if you're gonna complain that it's on xbox like if someone is not gonna wanna use it because it's showing xbox bro like just throw a strike back away like what <laughs> but yeah it's, it's gonna show you xbox and it doesn't give you errors it doesn't give you viruses on your laptop that's basically how to do it so watch the video till the end if you're still here right now drop a like and if you haven't subbed while well, i told you to sub in the beginning sub subscribe because i helped you bro you're watching this video and i helped you bro or girl Shit, my eyes bro she but anyway uh yeah then you just log into your game and play whatever game you want and just make sure it's tightly in because i'm i'm not playing right now so i can do this because it might look i don't know i'll show you no I focus on this look it, it's focusing on my hands right it might look like it's in like this right but it's not actually in like it actually has to go oh shit. it actually has to go like all the way in and you have to hear that I'm just hurting you guys' eyes. <laughs> it has to like go all the way in and you hear that pop on your PC. Then you know that, oh, it's actually working. You feel me? And yeah, that's all you need to do. I'm not gonna make the video any longer.
Tell me if it helped you. If it didn't, tell me too. Bye.